Hey everybody, Rob here, and uh, in this quick little interview, I'm going to show you um, how Shane Riggs from Restaurant Secret Weapons, uh, excuse me, RestaurantSecretWeapon.com, um, <laughs> has uh, scaled his agency and the restaurant niche and a couple of other interesting niches that you should probably know about. And what's cool about uh, Shane's story is that he came to one of our workshops, one of our live in-person implementation workshops. He had a ton of takeaways and um, now we're just catching up after months and months and months of him going home and implementing all this stuff. So I just want to welcome you, Shane, and, um, and thank you for being here. What's going on, man? You know, I just, I had to do this and I had to share the success that we've been having here from the past year since we did your workshop. And you've been in the back of my mind pretty much every single month with all the strategies and implementations that you've taught us. So it's long overdue. Oh, no worries, man. I, I understand. That's what I hope for. Like if you go home from a workshop and you're not busy, holy cow, like what am I doing? You know, no, it's a waste of money at that point. That's right. Good mm -hmm. deal. So, um, so let me, I'll ask you just sort of an opening question, but then I have a, I definitely have a clear follow-up question for you, but, um, tell me what you guys, you, you have a business partner, correct? Matt. Yep. Matt. So you and Matt are business partners. You both came to the workshop. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you and Matt were doing before you attended one of our agency alchemy workshops, if you can. So when Matt and I first started our agency, Brightside Consulting, uh, we were a jack of all trades digital marketing company. Now, what that means is we would take on any type of client when it came to real estate, chiropractic, dentistry. I mean, literally anybody that wanted to market their company, we'd say, sure, we'll take you on. Now, there's the financial part of it was was decent, but the success, the real story about that is we wanted to emulate what we were making. And that's the hardest part with overall marketing is we weren't niched down. And so every three to six months, our clients would leave us, right? Whether it would be, you know, lack of success or too much success, which believe it or not is a real thing. It is. Um, <laughs> and, you know, we went to your workshop, I believe last July and we just needed some clear focus and that's what really wanted, that was really the pushing moving forward that drove the needle in is we want some clear focus on what to do, how to become bigger. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool. So I've got some great little sound bites of you at, at the workshop talking about your experience there. Um, but what I'm super interested in is what happened once you came to the workshop and then, well, what happened at the workshop and what happened after you left? Because that's kind of the gap that I want to sort of fill for people. It's like, what were the biggest takeaways that you had and what did you actually do about it when you went home? So once we actually paid, we were diving in full front board. I mean, we did a bunch of research prior. We're like, these are the guys that are going to get us to the next step. And once we knew that and we believed it 100%, it wasn't easy. And it was, it was just... It was, an easy decision, hands down. Once we were actually at the workshop, um, your whole program that you have there, I don't know if it's changed, but it was a three-day workshop there, was fantastic. It was laid out beautifully. Between the sales process, between your entire um, systems and, and how it was able to improve us, but the number one thing that we took was niche down, be specific, be just the best at one thing that you can be, and since then, our company has just surpassed our successes of two and a half years of marketing company to just nine months of just restaurant marketing. And we have killed it. And it's all because of you guys. It's amazing. I love it, man. I love it. So let's give a quick shout out to the person I referred you to because he's had a lot to do with like combining our stuff with his stuff. And we'll talk about the other niches here in a sec, but... Let's talk about Matt Platt for a second because I think I dropped his name there and you guys went home and, and got into his program. You had a ton of success with the restaurants, right? Is that correct? Yes. Uh, in combination of your program and Matt's program, and I also gave, gave a shout out to Billy Jean as well. Um, nice. you know, three great mentors just really put icing on the cake to our success. Love it, man. Cool. Um, okay, good. So I have, I have two questions about your experience. Number one, I seem to note that you guys enjoyed the food and beverage uh, that we provided because we try to okay. just lay out a like a three course meals, uh, dinner and uh, breakfast and lunch are just I mean, we just try to really take care of you. So like, how was that for you? You know, I thought I was at a like an all day spa for three <laughs> days. 
I just thought I was being pampered. I think the only thing that you guys were missing <laughs> was the actual masseuse, you know, really <laughs> there. But you guys whined and dined us. I mean, nice. everything was amazing. Yeah, I, I no no complaints here on this side. Yeah, man, there's nothing worse than going to like a live event and just being like, ah, the food is like a box lunch. Like, I don't want it. You know, this is like, I'm, I don't know. I, that, I, just, I just try I try to tell my team like we need to treat people the way that we would want and so I'm like what would you want and they're like I want salmon I want steak and like that's yeah. what we do you know I want, whiskeys, so. I want bottles of wine I want everything and that's exactly what you guys did cool, for man. us so, but take care of the tab yeah. all right I want this this and yeah, this yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> to be clear we only do that for one night because uh <laughs> wow yeah that it's a good thing my yeah my buddy owns a restaurant we went to um mm. All right, so so here's another thing that I noted about your guys' experience at the event was I think it was on day two or day three. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember if it was you or Matt, but someone shouted out, the sales training alone was worth double the price that we paid just to show up here and do that. Can you talk about that a little bit? So uh, in our business, Matt is behind the scenes. He's building the ads. He's building the funnels. He's my tech guy. And I am the front of the house. I do all the sales. I do the customer relations. I grow the businesses in essence. And it's a perfect, perfect marriage that we do. And that was me who said that. And I am a narcissistic, egotistical, think I am the best salesman ever. And what you guys had there was a game changer. I thought I've learned it all in the 15 years of sales experience that I've had, and boy, was I wrong. And strictly because of that, once again, in nine months, we are at all new heights in our business. Wow. Do you mind sharing with everyone where you were and where you are now? So the last month, uh, month and a half, we've taken in over $25,000 in monthly revenue, and that's going to continue to grow. We signed year contracts with all of our clients. Um, compared to Brightside Consulting, we're... I mean, you know how digital marketing is. One month we'll be making six thousand. One month we'll be making twenty-five. The next we'll be making ten. Mm -hmm. And that was the thing. the The success is there. It just it wouldn't match. And that's what was really important to us was the growth, was the name of of our company. And that's what we started focusing on. But the money at this point, it's matching our success levels. I love it, man. I, that's so so great to hear. Um, can you talk a little bit about? Um, what so like what can you attribute let's talk about some niches for a minute because mm -hmm. that's one of the most common questions i get is like will this work for my niche how do i choose a niche am i in the right niche all this stuff so what have you found success with niche wise in some of these um because i know that you've tried you've tried a lot of different things to, to your credit yeah. it's i mean oh, yeah. you've really hung in there and tried it and i take my hat off to you because i teach like find one niche run with it right um, but as far as your guys' personal experience goes, everybody's got a different personal experience. Mm -hmm. What have you found the most success with, with some other niches besides the restaurant niche? So there is one thing that I wanted to, to bring up and that's the, the database reactivation that you guys have. Mm. And this is so, so big. If you're a digital marketer there and you're thinking about being on the fence or you just started your marketing or you've been in it for 10 years and you just want to keep up to date. You need to join Agency Alchemy because right off the bat, they can teach you how to get your clients more customers in through the door without even paying a dollar in ad spend. And when you come with that type of approach instead of a sales approach, it's night and day. It's a win-win. And specifically, we've tried that exact process out with plumbing, with termite pest control, and with tree care, for crying out loud. Wow. These are businesses that have already been in business for you know, 5, 10, 15 plus years. And they have a database that they haven't used or they're currently using it for email. Now, how about a system where you can use that that has a 70% open rate and a 70% close rate after that? If they say no, then <laughs> just walk away. I mean, you'll find somebody else, 10 other people that are like, sign me up right now. Incredible, man. So I have some personal experience with this. I was telling you a little bit about this before the call, but um, excuse me. Um, so we just moved to Alabama from California. My wife is from here. Beautiful state. That's why it's so That's Yeah, it's like <laughs> lush green outside. I wish I could just pick up my iMac and just, you know, mm -hmm. show you all like for real. But we just had to have this beautiful like 90 foot um, pecan tree cut down because they planted it like 
I'm not kidding, less than five feet from our master bedroom. Foundation. Yeah, it was messing things up and well, there was problems. Let me just put it that way. So every arborist we called out was like, you have to cut it down. It took us, we moved here in August. It's now June. It took us this long to get this thing figured out, right? That's I'm not, not a single one of these dudes that we call, and we've done it for pest, all the things you just listed, pest control, um, tree, tree cutting, tree, mm -hmm. tree care. And we have mm -hmm. way more than that, just one tree. You can see them in, in the back. We have oh. about 17 or 18 trees in our backyard. They all need care. Um, and then the, what was the last one you mentioned? I'm sorry. Plumbing. Oh gosh. The plumber's been out here a ton. Right. Oh, yeah. And I moved from a market where it's San Diego, mm -hmm. uh, one or 2 million people in the city proper in the County. There's several million, I think it's five or 6 million to a, a city where there's a hundred people, a hundred thousand people in the city proper. And then like several hundred thousand in the County. And I just cannot believe how far removed these folks are from just texting me back. Like I'm busy, man. My wife is busy. We got three mm -hmm. kids under the age of six. Like just come to us for crying out loud, you know, and we, we have money. We will spend the money to get the problem solved. You know, it's not like we're broke and trying to, we're not do it yourselfers. And that really opened my eyes as to how powerful that is because I believed in it before, obviously, because we're doing it and we have done it and like, you know, hundreds of markets, but I was like, if a guy like Shane can help that person do this, that guy's sales will probably tri double, triple, quadruple. Easily. In a year, easily, in a year, easily, right? It's like, yeah. and how many of these guys are out there? And that's when you it's, learn that, that trade, that skill, and you learn it once, especially if you're, I mean, it's not even considered advertising at that point because what you do is a service. And you're growing local businesses, or you're growing something that you're actually passionate about. It's a win-win for both parties, and it's it makes instead of just working for money, you're growing local companies, and they're going to refer you to more business. You're you're working to grow your name, and that's that's just a complete game changer. I love it, man. Yeah, it's the outcome economy now. They want an outcome, you want to deliver it to them. If you can do that, everybody wins, right? Win-win. I love beautiful. it too. Yeah, nice man. Well, good work. Um, Cool. So one, I, this one a little longer than I anticipated. Usually I try to keep the eight to 10 minutes, but man, this is so good. Um, <laughs> this is, it's hitting home for me. And that's like, I, I don't know if you can tell or not, but this, my heart is in the place of the average small business owner. Cause that's what my dad was. Right. And he passed away in 2003 It's probably too much information for this kind of interview, but this, the, the businesses that you're talking about, the businesses that he ran, and so for me, I'm like, I, it gets me especially excited when I hear about these types of businesses, you know, having success. So anyway, um, but so, so let me tell you this, we've had a ton of people like you who have taken my advice and niched down, but let, since you have chosen to sort of niche down, you've got the bulk of your business coming from the restaurants, but you've also served several other businesses. What would you say to someone who is in your shoes, who's tried a bunch of different niches, who's maybe on the fence about the agency alchemy program? Well, first off, the when I first met you, I mean, just even heard you over the phone, I knew this was going to be the right decision. And for the people that don't believe in themselves, and they have to believe in themselves before they can believe in any other system first. So if you believe in success and you believe that you have the potential and the talent to grow your business, that's the number one thing. Agency Alchemy is here to grow your business to 5x, 10x, 100x of what you're worth. And that's what we decided on. I'm a go-getter, and that's the difference between me and 99% of other people, is I know I'm going to be the best, and I'm going to use the tools like Agency Alchemy to get me to those results. Um, and then you guys have heard it here, but in the actual three-day seminar, you learn so much more than niching down. And if we had three hours, 10 hours, 30 hours, I'm sure Rob and I would really dive in and some of the cool things, but I don't want to give too much away. All I know is if you're not growing your business, you're not going anywhere and enjoy the nine to five job working at anywhere else. It's better to have a nine to five job if you're not growing your business. I, that's my, my opinion, but because there's much less to worry about, right? You're just like, I got to show up. That's it. 
you know, uh, dude, I'm a no risk, no reward type of guy. Oh, I so know. Me too. It's, it's fitness. like, you know, high risk, high reward, you know, low risk, low reward, that whole thing. It's, it's yeah. Um, so listen, man, I really want to thank you for taking the time. Cause I know you're busy. And in fact, my calendar schedule guys, just to, to tell you, um, how, how thankful we should be for, for him showing up. His, my calendar didn't go farther out than the time he had free. And he made the time to stop and show up like less than a week out of where my calendar went. And so he's probably missing some sort of sales opportunity here. But dude, I got, I got, I think I got tree pest control restaurant folks. I mean, I'll send all those people to you guys because um, you guys are crushing it. I know you get them results. So I will happily repay the favor. Uh, but I just want to honestly thank you for taking. What is this? I don't know, half an hour out of your day to stop and do this because I know it's valuable. <laughs> and uh, Of course, man. If you have it, anybody on the fence for Agency Alchemy, you give them my personal cell number. And I'm a regular guy, as I told you with my numbers, and 25000 a month, we didn't get to that level just by you know wishing and hoping it's going to come to us. You guys shed the light. You guys shed a flashlight in the dark room and show us the path. So you give them my personal number and I'll have a second conversation with them on why they should join because this is a huge opportunity that they're going to be missing out on. You got it, buddy. Thank you. I don't know if I'll do that unless people write in or something, because you'll be. <laughs> That's just how passionate I am. You know, I know. I know. And I can feel it. I appreciate it, man. So thank you very much. And thank, uh, thank Matt as well. I know I've been kind of chatting with him and, um, and Facebook and things like that. So thank you guys. And um, we're really excited to hear about this, this growth now, but I can't wait to talk to you down the line too and see where you're at soon. So we'll line that up as well. See where you're so, at. Maybe next time I'll treat you guys to dinner and whiskey. We'll put a limit on there, but <laughs> no, no, no limit. I didn't have a limit. So, well, if I'm taking care of the bill and we're going to somewhere. Well, we'll talk about it. We, all right. Good deal. <laughs> <laughs> Already my man. Well, we can't wait to have you out to another one. Um, I'll try to get you out to San Diego soon and we'll do another one. And if you want to come back out, you're welcome to. So we'll see you then. Sounds great, Rob. Thanks a lot. Thanks Shane. See you, man. Yeah.